Hi guys, in this video, we'll take a look at a 21.5 inch digital picture frame sent to me by the good folks at Fulgia. I've seen these here and there over the last couple of years, but never really got around to checking them out. So when Fulgia reached out, I was really interested to have a look and see what it can do. That's what we'll be doing today, so let's get into it. I've been looking at these things for a couple of years since they first hit the market and you know the reason being as a photographer right we probably display one percent of our photos and the other 99 percent nobody ever sees them so I thought this is a 21 and a half inch photo display uh, I would get it up into the living room and then through the holiday season I'll test it out and see uh, what the reaction is from you know family members and others that happen by and uh, we'll see what we get. So that's what this video is going to be all about. We're going to take a look at this. I'll give you full details in the description if you want to get one for yourself. As you can see I've already unboxed it. So I will just gently put this down by my side here. And what you get in the box, it came very well packed, uh, heavy dense styrofoam all around it. There's a user manual, an installation guide, and a quick start guide, all available to help get you up and running quick. You get a remote control, set of batteries, two sets of raw plugs, hardware to mount it to the wall, a Phillips number two screwdriver. You get a nice little bracket like this a wall mounting plate and so basically the way this works is I'm actually getting into the setup part of the video but that's okay you mount this you just plug this into the back like that and you'll be able to stand the picture frame up horizontally or vertically depending on which way you install this it comes with power supply and then this uh, bracket here these four holes line up with the four brass nuts that are embedded into the back of the picture frame and then of course these guys here you can put your raw plugs into the drywall mount it onto the wall or you're going to have it on a credenza someplace just leaning up like a regular picture frame and if you're curious what the front of it looks like with nothing on it there you go and so you can have it sitting up this way or you can have it sitting up this way i was um really curious about this but this is a really quality looking piece of kit Let's see if it works as well as it looks. The frame is 1080p IPS display that boasts a 180 degree viewing angle with a 16.9 aspect ratio, which is pretty much what you might expect from a device like this. It's dual Wi-Fi compatible, 2.4 or 5 gigahertz, and offers 32 gigs of internal storage, which is not too shabby in my humble opinion. Once the frame is paired to your phone, you can upload directly from your phone, PC, SD card, USB stick, or email. Currently, uh, current best price I could find is $299 US. For this, uh, this is a 21.5 inch model. You can mount the frame with just a couple of nails in the wall for landscape mode and one nail for portrait mode. Or you can use the included rotatable mounting plate that allows rotation via the plate. So it holds the frame about three quarters of an inch off the wall. So you can rotate the frame quite easily uh, from portrait to landscape. The frame also comes with a plastic support bracket that allows dual mounting options as well. For me personally, I think this will make a terrific Christmas gift. But first thought that I had was that it'll excel as a conversation piece for your living or family room. As a photographer, I think most of you would agree, we tend to mount 1% of our photos while the other 99% sit on a hard drive somewhere, which is a real shame. So what I thought I'd do before we get too far into this is just uh, flip the frame over and show you a couple of things on the frame here. So you can see the little plastic mounting bracket. So if you want to stand it up on a table, you can do that. If you want it portrait style, just take this out and rotate it. There's your USB slot there, there's your SD card slot, and there's your power uh, port there. And so that's really all there is to it on the back with the exception of the mounting points. So there's two of the mounting points. So if you just want to use nails, you want to hang it on a wall for landscape, use this one and this one. Portrait, you're going to use this one. And yes, boys and girls, this thing has a speaker, so it does have sound. And so what I'm, I thought I would do now is I'll walk you through um, all the features and the menus on the uh, picture frame so you can get a sense of what you're going to have available to you. Okay, so right now we're in the home screen and I'm just going to use the remote control here and I'm going to click uh, OK on the image. 
and that takes you into the main menu. And so from the main menu, you can, ex you can select your internal storage, uh, SD card, USB. You've got folders there that you can set up. You've got favorites that you can set up, or you can go into your, uh, your own personal account. And so I'm just gonna hit the home key again, and I'm gonna scroll over. So you can see you've got a nice uh, weather display here. You've got a settings menu, music, video, clock, or alarm. So you have music uh, files that can be loaded onto display, and you can also display videos. But right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into settings. And so the first thing that you see here is, so you have a QR code that you can use to get the frame set up. The, the very first thing you wanna do is pair it uh, pair the device to your iPhone, get your Wi-Fi set up, and then after that, you're off to the races. You've got some album settings here, and this is where I use, again, I just use the remote control, and I can change the brightness of the monitor. So I knocked it down to about 50% there from the first couple of first part of this recording. So uh, some of the images wouldn't look so blown out, but you've got a wide range of adjustment there. You've got volume adjustment touch sounds, language, slideshow, uh, slideshow mode. You can sort your images. You've got captions that can be turned on or off. You can set the date and time. You've got a sleep mode, auto rotate the screen, notifications for sounds, and then you're back to the top. So pretty straightforward, really. Now, if I hit the return key, now I can go into my Wi-Fi settings. And this is probably the first thing that you're going to want to do is go through and set up your username and password and get your Wi-Fi set up because then you'll be able to send images from your phone, uh, PC, uh, to the device frame. You've got a factory data reset, of course. You've got a help menu here, if I scroll down. And then last but not least, you've got an about where it gives you all the information relating to your particular display. Okay guys, so I thought I'd be remiss if I didn't give you a couple of pointers on how to get set up and how to get started with the uh, V-Photo frame. And so you've got an installation guide, which is all the details on the hardware that comes with it to mount it on the wall. So raw plug, screws, that type of thing. The rotating mount, for example, um, that's all covered right here. So we'll put that aside for a second. You also have a user manual, which gives you full details on all the uh, operation modes. I won't have time to go through all that here, but I'm gonna cover the quick start guide with you because I think that's most important to get you up and running really quick. And it's pretty straightforward. I'll go through it by the number. So uh, unbox the frame and have it connected to AC. Straightforward stuff. Step two, connect to Wi-Fi. So you wanna go to the home screen like so. You scroll over. Click on settings, like so. All your Wi-Fi information is gonna be here. You're gonna enter your username and password. Utilize the remote control. Utilize the remote to select your Wi-Fi from the Wi-Fi option list and enter the Wi-Fi password if required. This function is just for the frame with the remote. So you may have purchased a frame that doesn't have this. Your methodology will be a little bit different. Step three, download the VP Photo app to your phone. In my case, it's an iPhone 7 here, and I'm in the VP Photo app now, and if you wanna get into your settings to set this up, you click on the three lines, and you've got your uh, profile information right there. Straightforward stuff. Uh, okay, create an app and fill in the required information. All right, uh, step four, bind your frame. Don't be confused by the term bind. So if you're a drone pilot like I am, I fly drones, you've got a remote control, you got a drone. Bind means pair, so you have to connect your phone to the device. So you're basically pairing, uh, like a Bluetooth process. Straightforward stuff. Enter the connection code of the frame or scan the QR code. Okay. Again, we're gonna select home. Where are we here? Okay, we're in settings and we're gonna go right across here. There it is, my friends. There's your connection code right there. So you can scan the barcode or you can just enter in the numbers. I think I entered in the numbers, six of one, half dozen the other. Okay. 
2. Enter your frame connection code on the VP photo and you can find it on your Wi-Fi frame by selecting settings my frame like we just did. It's a nine digit number. Note, make sure the frame is connected to Wi-Fi otherwise connection code cannot be loaded. Straightforward stuff. Step 3. Enter your unique frame connection code into the field on the app. Your frame will notify you that users bound your device. So now you're paired, you're connected, your phone's connected to your device, that's great. Press the three horizontal lines, corner the VP app on your phone like we did that, but let's do it one more time again. Okay, so if you're here, just connect this, or touch the three lines, there's your setup info right there, your profile information. And last but not least, if you want to go the extra step, which is step five, um, you can send photos or videos from your smartphone or tablet to the frame using the VP Photo app. So there's, a, there's so many things that we could do with this device and the app. It's, you know, you can load videos, you can set alarms, you can set the time, the date and time. It's just unbelievable all the stuff you can do. So that's my quick start setup for you. Okay guys, so let's wrap this one up. My final conclusions on this picture frame is it's a pretty cool piece of kit, I have to say. Um, I think it's a great conversation piece. I think it's a great way to get that 99% of photos that nobody ever sees into a device. It's going to be a great talking piece. I'm really looking forward to sharing it with uh, family and friends around the, the holiday season for sure. I'm looking forward to that. Um, it's definitely something I wouldn't have bought for myself, which makes it a great Christmas gift, I have to say. Um, I'm going to put full details in the description for you if you want to get one of these for yourself. Um, and, you know, this is a large, like 21 and a half inches. It's a pretty big digital picture frame. Most of them are like 8 by 10 and smaller, so you may want to look at a smaller version of this. Uh, Fulja has a wide range of them, so you'll have that option. But um, thanks again for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe and like buttons for me if you found the video useful. And if you have questions, by all means connect in. I'll try and help as best I can. Uh, holidays are coming up, so you know, don't drink and drive and have a good holiday season. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care now.